Hi, welcome to Wine Time. I'm your host, Kate Volton. If you're new to Wine Time, welcome. If you are coming back, yay, thank you very much. This is my weekly episode where I talk about all things business, all things mummy, and we do it over wine, just because we can, and life is too short not to do everything over wine. So today, I'm gonna give you three reasons why it's important for you as a business owner to give back. It's wine time. So why should you give back? I bet as a small business owner and as a mom, the first couple of things that likely went through your head were, how do you want me to give back? I don't even have enough time <laughs> to do the laundry or get dinner cooked or get my kids to their activities. And how do you want me to be writing a check to another organization when I am barely staying afloat? So I understand where you're at, but here's where I'm gonna challenge you. Have you ever thought about what you might get back if you started to give more? So today what I'm gonna share with you are my three reasons why I think it's so very important and critical to your business that you give back. So number one, it builds community engagement. So why does this matter? Woo! This matters like crazy. If you haven't already engaged in your community as a small business owner, you're missing out. That is a huge opportunity for you to build connections with people in your community. And while the end result might be that you end up getting an increase in business from it, that's not the intent behind this. The intent in engaging with your community is to build relationships. Because here's what I know, a community that you support out of pure intention will support you back. And not only that, think about the message that you're sending to your kids. Does your organization or business stand to only make money? Is that what you stand for? Or do you wanna show your kids that your business stands for something a lot greater than that? Community engagement is key. Number two, it empowers employees. Imagine that, a great way to build a greater connection with your employees to your company. Think about it, it makes sense. If you ever worked for an organization where they actually gave you time off to go volunteer, or where your whole team would go out and do a team building event and you'd be volunteering somewhere. Well, guess what? That builds a certain type of culture in your business, and if you're Culture is all about giving back and having a caring, nurturing environment, an ethical business, then this is something that you wanna implement into your business because I can tell you, your employees care. So number three, it brings in customers. Your customers and clients, they care today and they are smart. They want to know that if they're purchasing from a company that it's ethical. And we're seeing this more and more, uh, especially in some of those big box stores. But as a small business, it's just as important that you're ethically sound. Because of the internet today, your customers and clients can say anything they want online and they can do it instantly. You need to be putting forth what represents your core values as a business. And if you want to be giving back to your community, you need to do it with a pure intent because your customers and clients are online so much, they are going to know if your intent is not pure, trust me. And then you'll get the opposite effect of what you want and you'll lose customers. So there it is, three ways that giving back is good for business. Number one, it builds community engagement. Number two, it empowers your employees. And number three, it's going to build customers. I'm not suggesting that you start giving back to your community or charity in order to get more money. In fact, I'm suggesting the complete opposite. That might be an indirect result after you start engaging more, but that's not your goal. Your goal and your intent has to be pure. You have to be willing just to want to help somebody because that's what's gonna come back to you tenfold in your business. Wine time. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Wine Time. I did, I always do. I love talking business, mummyhood, and doing it obviously over wine. 
you haven't already, please subscribe to Wine Time. That way it automatically shows up in your inbox every single week. And also be sure to check out my website at katevolton.com for all kinds of great resources. And I have a special announcement for this week of Wine Time. I'm super excited to share with you that I have just launched my brand new Moms in Biz Elite eCourse. And I developed this online course to help mompreneurs. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, you're not sure how you're gonna manage life as a mom and life as a business owner, then this course is for you. This has been a labor of love for me to finally get this e-course launched. And because of that, I have a phenomenal deal going on until tomorrow. So make sure you click the link below and check it out. So thank you so much for joining me this week. And until next week, enjoy your wine. It's wine time.